Here's food crisis to me. Average age of an apple in a grocery store since it was picked in the United States. So since it came off the tree and you ate it. 14 months. Average age of an apple in a grocery store in the United States is 14 months. All the antioxidants in that apple, 90% of them gone by the time we eat it. It's basically a little ball of sugar. I understand why they do this. They slow them down so they can distribute them. And we did that to create more cheap food, which was the call 30 years ago. Why do you not know this? Why did I not know this? Why are we so information poor? What if in the next 50 years we had climate democracy? What I mean is we're slave to climate. Why are we slave to climate? Why are Californian farmers now Mexican farmers? Why is China now the largest landholder in Brazil? Couldn't each country have its own productive climate? Couldn't we somehow digitize them? Yes, I killed thousands of plants, but I learned the language uh, with my computer and no tools. In this experiment, this is broccoli that was grown by General Mills. We grew it five times faster than they could do in the field. We grew it with about 90% less water than they used. We grew a lot less than they grew in the field. It cost a lot more than they grew in the field. But the quality of the olfactory expressions of this plant were better than the things that they were getting. So I knew if I could code stress and I could code climate, that I could code flavor, I could code uh, morphology, physiology, color, all of the phenotypic traits, the epigenetics that have to happen after what is programmed and happens to be in food, we care a lot about those things. We will optimize together to be able to grow things and create a freedom that the world hasn't known. That will change culture, that will change health. This is next, and this is what I'm building to facilitate that. Food labs that will create food, but really more importantly, create a brain. Food operating systems that will share that brain and a network to pull them together.